All right, well, we'll put a bow on prior for now, and I'm just going to go over another two or three guys here that are that are potential free agents this year that we'll have a quick discussion. I'll start with Dante Moncrief. Okay, a potential potential uh, team changer here. What do you guys think? Well, I mean, it's I was I I was kind of in the back of my mind expecting him to stay in Indy. Um, I obviously my boy Andrew Luck is up to throwing weighted footballs. Uh, you know, if I can get Andrew Luck back in there, I got a couple of teams where I got Moncrief just right into pine. Bro. A lot of people do. Yeah, don't well everybody does. Yeah. If you, every every Dante Moncrief owner has been watching that man ride the pine for the last twelve months, and it's been pretty terrible. So if I got Moncrief, I'm really not going to sell because you can't get anything. I actually just purchased Moncrief for peanuts. I got him for a fourth round pick. And I just I would be into that mode because it all it won't take very it, it all it would take is Andrew Luck coming back and Moncrief to have a couple of games to be Moncrief again. I don't think Moncrief or, or is wherever un, he goes. I don't think he's unrecoverable at all. I don't think he did necessarily anything to be. I mean, Jacoby Brissett came in and stabilized the sinking ship last right. year, but it was Jacoby Brissett who has n- is not a prolific passer. And uh, did all he could do, throwing it to Jack Doyle and t- and Pepper and T.Y. T- Hilton sometimes. But you know, it just wasn't, and it, ha- it was not Moncrief's year. And I would not be selling him for peanuts. I'd be buying him for peanuts. Sure, that's, you know, that's the name of the game. You're trying to find guys who could turn around and value pretty pretty quickly. And like we talked about with some other guys, he's you've at least seen him. I don't know how well you've seen him play, but you've seen him score touchdowns in the league. Yeah, okay, this, I mean, uh, it's not your. I know Moncrief's not your favorite player. I I did pick him up on a team that we share together for the fourth rounder, and you're like, "Why'd you do that?" And I was like, "All right, I got my bad. I thought you'd be happy. I didn't realize you didn't like him so much." Well, no. Here, here's the problem with that <laughs> is that you didn't, you didn't, <laughs> you didn't acknowledge the fact that you were going to pick him up. I my thing is, is I don't have to like a player to see the value in a player. I think it's a great pickup. You just didn't communicate with me that you were picking him up yeah and that's that's well i really didn't that's think the problem going to take the take he i really didn't think he was going to take the trip so i gotta get you i can't just not give you a hard time about it it's like a dog you gotta smack the dog and let him know <laughs> that he did something wrong right but i'm 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 totally di- i mean giving up a fourth rounder for a guy who if comes back and let's say he's he resigns was, with the colts for a team friendly deal or whatever and comes back and scores 10 touchdowns again like he did one season you know you're ringing the register immediately plus we also like to talk about guys he comes in and has two great games in in 2018 here, and you could ring the register again Absolutely. for him, all, all of the above. Obviously, he's not 23 years old anymore, but he was only two years ago where he was a third-round startup pick. So, yeah, and, and you, what you just said a minute ago was that's the name of the game. And, like, we talked about with Pryor at 190, and we're talking about Dante Moncrief right here, who's absolutely just bottoms falling out. Warren Buffett told me when nobody else oh, wants Warren it, Buffett knowledge when, drops here. When no, he told me he, I got a cell phone number. He told me <laughs> specifically. He said when nobody else wants it, that's the time to buy it. Well, that's the time you want to go buy. That's the time. You, that's a little. That was a little bit of a Jerry Jones uh, mixture there with Warren Buffett. But he told me specifically. He sent me a card, handwritten letter. He said when nobody else wants it, that's the time to buy it. And nobody wants Moncrief, and nobody wants Pryor. So the time to buy it is now, and it can only go up from here.